20 best Korean rom-coms to watch on Netflix. After a long day, we all want to cozy up and remove some stress. And we do that by turning to our go-to genre. Rom-coms, we just want a drama to tickle our funny bones and distract us from all of life's woes. There aren't as many mind-blowing narrative twists and complex stories in rom-coms as there are in other genres. Typically, we anticipate cliched and predictable storylines, and I believe that's the reason we all adore this genre. The humorous pieces and enduring chemistry between our stars make us like cliché stories, even though we generally know how the story will end. Let's dive in and get to know the best rom-com K-dramas available on Netflix. And FYI, some of the shows might not be available in your country's Netflix lineup, but we hope you'll get to see them one day. Segment. Are you a K-drama newbie or a K-drama addict? My score for this list is 14 out of 20. How about you? We'd like to see your score in the comment section down below. Number 1. It's okay to not be okay. Rolling on our screens is a health worker at a psychiatric ward. He's intelligent and can sympathize with others. Our female protagonist, on the other hand, is a well-known children's book writer, who is actually harsh and selfish. How will their fates make them fall in love with one another, with their personalities clashing and neither of them knowing or dealing with love? Taking the number one spot on this list is a K-drama by Korea's highest paid actor, Kim Soo-hyun. It's Okay to Not Be Okay is Kim Soo Hyun's lead role comeback in a drama after finishing his military service. In South Korea, It's Okay to Not Be Okay is the most popular romance show on Netflix back in 2020. So Ye Ji and Oh Jung Se star alongside the top actor Kim Soo Hyun. Number 2. Crash Landing on You Who would have ever thought that a South Korean businesswoman will land herself in North Korea after a paragliding accident? She meets a North Korean army officer, who will try to help her return to South Korea unnoticed. But while she's in hiding and figuring out how to get our female lead back to South Korea, the two of them begin to develop affections for one another. The romantic feelings in the drama were brought into the real world too. After the drama aired, our lead couple, Hyunbin and Sonia Jin, were reported to be dating, and the two even tied the knot eventually. Congratulations! We all had so much fun watching Crash Landing on You. The drama's couples, as well as the funny and lovely side squads, kept us thoroughly entertained. Number 3. Goblin An unbeatable general in Goryeo's military died tragically and now has immortality. Our male lead has now lived for 900 years, searching for his bride who can pull the sword out of his chest and put an end to his life. A cheerful high school student enters the story. She claims to be the Goblin's bride. Will she be able to put a stop to our male protagonist's immortality? Goblin is one of the Korean dramas that truly created such a big Korean wave. From the OST, the plot, the effects, and the superb actor's acting skills, Goblin is a critically acclaimed Korean drama and one that you shouldn't miss. Gong Yu, Kim go Eun, Lee Dong-wook, Yoo Eun-na, and Yuk Sun Jae all gave us excellent performances throughout the drama, bringing us to laughter, tears, and wonder throughout this amazing story. Number 4. Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju Kim Bok Ju is all set to show you her swag and take you on a romantic and funny adventure. Our female protagonist is a weightlifter who aspires to win a gold medal. Her life ambitions, however, will be combined with romance, which you will encounter for the first time. More weightlifters, different types of athletes, and a handsome swimmer who loves to tease our dear Kim Bok Ju are introduced in this drama. Did you know that our lead couple, Lee Sung Kyung and Nam Ji Hyuk dated in real life after they gave us the perfect chemistry in this drama. Fans were overjoyed to learn that their on-screen connection had extended to the real world. Unfortunately, it did not last. But their K-drama, on the other hand, is here to stay. And we may watch this feel-good drama about young athletes anytime that we want. Number 5. Hometown Cha 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 
try spending your time watching one of the highest rated Korean series in cable television history. Hometown Cha 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 is a comfort show that keeps us engaged while telling us a slice of life story. Not only did we fall in love with our lead couple, but also with the supporting characters. Shin Min Ah, one of Korea's highest paid actresses, co-starred in this drama with Kim Sun Ho. Their chemistry was fantastic, as was their charming dimples. Having both beauty and intelligence does not guarantee a perfect life. Despite having both, our female protagonist's life plan is crumbling. The dentist then decides to move to a seaside town. She meets Chief Hong here. Chief Hong is unemployed, yet a multi-talented man. Our male lead is always willing to assist everyone in the seaside village. Will he also lend a hand to our female protagonist? And is romance in the cards for them? Number 6. A Business Proposal A Business Proposal is a feel-good drama that will completely relieve all of your stress. This hit drama successfully blended comedy, cliches, and excellent acting. Fans of the show can't get enough of Ahn Hyo Sop and Kim Se Jong's perfect chemistry. Our female protagonist, who is single, goes on a blind date in place of her best friend, who happens to be the daughter of a Shebol family. She has no idea that the man she was going on the date with is actually her boss. Our female protagonist intends to be rejected by her date. However, instead of being rejected, the CEO of the company she works for asks her to marry him. Then shenanigans ensue. Number 7. Strong Woman Do Bong Soon Looks can be deceiving. Who would have guessed a small woman could defeat a gang all on her own? Meet Do Bong Soon, a jobless woman with extraordinary strength. After seeing what our female protagonist is capable of, the CEO of a gaming company offers her the position of a bodyguard. Will Do Bong Soon take the job, even though it's not the position she would desire? Aside from Park Bo Young and Park Young Shik's excellent performances, we are so smitten by their cute height difference. Strong Woman Do Bong Soon also has a crime thriller tale woven into it, as well as some scenes that will give us a second lead syndrome. Number 8. Hotel Del Luna Deep in Seoul's thriving downtown is an old hotel. The establishment's exterior, however, comes nowhere close to the magnificence found inside once you enter. Welcome to Hotel Del Luna, a hotel run by a selfish spirit who's been tied to it for a thousand years. Hotel Del Luna is not your typical hotel. It solely houses and serves the needs of the dead. What will happen then if someone who's not welcome enters and enrages the selfish and greedy owner? If IU is present, we're definitely watching it. Hotel Del Luna is one of the highest rated Korean dramas in cable television history. The fantasy and rom-com drama took us through a plot involving vengeance, letting go, and so much more. It's amazing how it managed to incorporate serious matters, horror, romance, and humorous antics into one story. You'll get the laughs, but also make sure to keep a box of tissue nearby. Number 9. Descendants of the Sun A beautiful and courageous cardiothoracic surgeon thinks her abilities will triumph over connections to grow in her career. When reality sets in, she understands that this is not the case. Her life changes when she meets the captain of the Alpha Team, a Special Forces officer. Watch how a legendary romance blooms between them in the midst of war and obstacles that arise in the medical and military fields. Descendants of the Sun generated such a massive Korean wave. It made headlines as it starred two of South Korea's finest actors, Song Hye Kyo and Song Jin Ki. The plot and its ability to draw viewers in made the drama so fascinating to watch. In addition to the popular casting, the military and medical drama got us laughing, weeping, and totally swooning over our main and second lead couples. Did you know that Song Hye Kyo and Song Jin Ki tied the knot? They were such a power couple, well known as the Song Song couple. However, the marriage of the two did not last and ended in divorce. The two have now moved on, and we wish them both the very best. Number 
Number 10. Go Back Couple Go Back Couple is a well-crafted drama that showed us the reality of marriage. It showed us what marriage is like beyond the happily ever after. Once more, this is a rom-com that may not have the most original storyline available. It did, however, keep us entertained because of the way it approached the subject. It played with our emotions and made us laugh and grieve. It touches our hearts and we simply just love it. Ready to go back in time? A late 30s married couple was so in love when they got married, but they regret tying the knot so young and can't seem to overcome their differences at present. While our female lead lives with poor self-esteem, our male lead bears the responsibility of being a breadwinner. This couple will now find themselves traveling back in time to when they met for the first time in their 20s as university students. Number 11, My Love from the Star. Here's such an iconic and classic Korean drama that contributed significantly to the Hallyu phenomenon. Kim Soo Hyun and Jun Ji Hyun's already famous names were further cemented by My Love from the Star. Sponsors came in like a continuous stream because this drama was such a hit. The already enormous popularity of these two stars soared even higher. Today, Kim Soo Hyun and Jun Ji Hyun are South Korea's highest paid actors. Meet K-Drama's Most Handsome Alien The alien landed on Earth during the Joseon Dynasty period, around 400 years ago. Our male lead's appearance is that of perfection. He's pretty handsome. He also possesses enhanced physical abilities. Having only three months left on the planet, he meets the biggest Hallyu star in Korea, who will create noise in his quiet life. Number 12, The Master's Son. On our screen is a greedy CEO of a conglomerate that owns a large department store and hotel, and a gloomy woman who can see ghosts enters his life. Their fates led them together to unite in dealing with ghosts while exploring a kidnapping incident. A surprisingly cute romance blossoms between them in the midst of all of this. The Master's Son brings in a powerful cast. We've got top stars, Gong Hyo Jin, So Ji Sub, and So Guk. This gripping drama took us on an emotional roller coaster. The acting, romance, and harmony of the spooky and humorous elements were well delivered. Number 13. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim? Secretary Kim is a dedicated employee who has worked for her boss for nine years. Wanting to focus on herself, Secretary Kim decides to resign. Her boss, the vice president of the company she works at, misunderstands the reason for our female lead's resignation. So what happens when her narcissistic boss offers Secretary Kim something after a nine-year, strictly professional relationship? Is there something wrong with Secretary Kim? There's only one way to know. Check out this drama. Park Min Young and Park Sa Joon captivated their audience with that amazing chemistry. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim gave us an enjoyable office drama to watch. Number 14, Fight for My Way. Meet four best friends who, despite their lack of qualifications, work hard to achieve their goals. Our male protagonist aspires to be a famous Taekwondo athlete, but he's currently employed as a contract employee. Meanwhile, our female protagonist dreams to be a television anchor, but instead works at a department store. The drama will also introduce us to their two closest friends, who are in a long-term relationship. There's no denying that we all loved Park Sa Joon and Kim Ji Won's chemistry in Fight For My Way. These two stars made us laugh a lot and created memorable scenes. Who can forget that iconic Ikkyo? <laughs> Fight For My Way showed us the crisis people face at a certain point in life while trying to overcome those challenges and reach for their goals. Number 15, Mad for Each Other. 
Let's look at a tale of two individuals who fall in love while they are going through pain and healing. Meet our male protagonist, a detective working in the violent crimes unit. His life appears to be going well, until a sudden turn of events causes him to be perceived as a crazy person who can't control his anger. Entering the story is a beautiful woman with a decent career, whose life is also turned upside down. She can't trust anyone and makes everyone around her angry. A person's hardships are depicted in the romantic comedy, mad for each other. Even if one thinks that they have life figured out, things might change, and one might find themselves in a new situation. This drama showed us the struggles of our characters, their scars, and how misfortunes and misunderstandings affect their lives and the people around them. Mad for each other is more than just a comedy. Number 16, W. A cardiothoracic surgeon's father suddenly goes missing while writing the last chapter of his webtoon. As our female lead searches for her father, in his office, a hand from her father's monitor suddenly pulls her in before she realizes it. She is now inside the webtoon. Confused and shocked, she finds a bloody man next to her and realizes that she's come face to face with the main character of her father's webtoon. There's no denying how well written W is. The shift from the real world and the webtoon got viewers so hooked, so curious and amused, that we kept coming back for more. Furthermore, the fantastic chemistry of Lee Jung Suk and Han Hyo Ju made everything so much better. Number 17, When the Camellia Blooms In a small town, a single mother starts a bar restaurant while also caring for her son. Men frequent her place pretty often. With the bar establishment, this drives the locals to gossip about her all the time. A local police officer is madly in love with her, despite the gossip swirling around her. Is the single mother prepared to welcome love once again? As they go on about their lives, a serial killer roams the small town. When the Camellia Blooms presented us with a Korean drama that incorporates several different genres, a truly engaging drama was created by the brilliant mixture of family, thriller, romance, comedy, and so much more. Gong Hyo Jin and Kang Han Nul brought this gem to life. Number 18 because this is my first life. A man in his 30s decides not to marry and spends his life alone. Although he has his own home, he's burdened with his mortgage. On the other hand, our female lead is a single woman also in her 30s, and she's a little envious of people who possess their own homes. Her financial problems make her stop dating. What happens if these two single individuals end up as housemates? Because This Is My First Life will take viewers on a journey of two people who face marriage and the issues that today's youth must deal with. You just can't put this drama down and call it a night. Though its plot is straightforward and somewhat predictable, it's incredibly enticing. It has so many layers and depth to its story. Number 19, Angel's Last Mission, Love. A prima ballerina is involved in an accident, forcing her to abandon her dream, following her parents' untimely deaths. She begins to distance herself from others and distrust others, believing that many people are after her inherited money. She is unable to love someone as a result of this. It's then a carefree angel appears in her life, tasked with finding her true love to return to heaven. Angel's Last Mission Love is a fantasy-infused romantic comedy. It's one of those wonderfully light dramas that has the power to deeply touch our hearts. Viewers will be able to get lost in the characters as they face various problems in their life, while also making us smile. Number 20, I'm Not a Robot a financial company's top shareholder will not allow himself to get close to you. Literally, 
He can't have normal interactions with people because he's allergic to human touch. Our male protagonist then becomes fascinated with AGI-3, a highly advanced robot. For the inventor and his team to make ends meet, they send the robot to our male protagonist to be tested. However, before they send AGI-3, its battery malfunctions, so the team sends out the investor's ex-girlfriend, who happened to be the inspiration for AGI-3's appearance. I'm Not a Robot gives us a unique story of a person suffering from human allergy and meeting a human who he thinks is a robot. This K-drama will show us the importance of trust and friendship. You'll find yourself laughing and crying with the characters amid the cute and sweet moments. We can't go wrong with rom-coms. This genre instantly delivers happiness to our lives. Are all these K-dramas available on your Netflix? How many have you watched? Let's have a chat in the comments down below and we'll see you there. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.